Not gonna lie, it's super awkward to film yourself outside. I watch other vloggers on YouTube and I don't know how they do this all the time because I feel like people are staring. But literally, there's literally no one around me besides cars right now. And it still feels awkward. But today's video is all about dreams. I don't know, because I'm a softie and I believe in pursuing one's dreams and having fun with them for the kingdom of God. And I thought we would just talk about them for this episode. I sound a little out of breath, but don't worry, I'm having fun. Bonjour, my darling. Let me tell you a story in a dream. When I was a little girl, there was this old white dollhouse that my cousin and I used to play in. My mama put some of my playhouse furniture and dishes in it. Two pink chairs and a yellow and blue table for me to make believe with. I had a large imagination as a child that actually got me into quite a bit of trouble. My daddy said, Sarah Kate, why don't you start a small baking shop and call it Sarah's Sweet Shop? From then on, it clicked. The entrepreneur spirit Abba created me with came alive. I would design a little old white dollhouse on paper and put little Parisian-looking tables and chairs in the shop. I drew little red and yellow roses to put outside the windows. I drew croissants and cupcakes. Daddy would mutter something in French and tell me all the different things I could sell. It seems as I get older, these dreams become more distant. Boundless emails, bills piling up, and establishing a good savings as a young adult seems to take up most of my time. Unread books heap in the corner of my ceiling apartment, high ceiling apartment, and this organic costly food from Trader Joe's begs me to eat it so I'm not wasting hard-earned money. Don't get me wrong, I am absolutely in love with this life I currently live, but part of me still wonders. What if I told you every time I hear French spoken or hear of someone's experience in beloved Paris, Paris, my heart does a little tug. What if I told you that I dream of a day where I can see my European friends again and talk to them on the French streets while listening to hushed tones and watching soft-spoken mannerisms of the French people? What if I told you I didn't want to leave Fort Wayne, Indiana, but wanted to create an, op an opportunity to bring the French culture of savory food, delicious wine, and four-course meals right to your door? What if Fort Wayne, Indiana had a small spot of Paris right in the downtown area? Authentic French pastries, the smell of odd cheeses, and the crackling sound of fresh broken bread. The pour of a dry wine in a clean, shiny glass. Clinking the, clinking the glasses together at the Parisian vintage table and chairs right on the street next to Promenade Park with your friends. What if I could create an opportunity of the romantic, sweet, sweet aroma of Paris right next door to you? Would you come? Would you break bread with me, drink some barrier? and have escargot avec moi, mon ami. I welcome you to an opportunity of a small French experience in Fort Wayne, Indiana, someday. This video started from a small post on Facebook about my wanting a small French restaurant and cafe called La Chapelle Cafe for my last name. In the cafe, I would have a small business conference room and then my husband and eight children live above it in an apartment. I would travel back and forth from my two favorite places, Fort Wayne, Indiana, and Paris. I would argue with a feisty French chef named Louis and play La Vie en Rose on repeat. You and I would talk for hours about our Hoosier community over some good French wine and fun laughs. Maybe someday, my darling. Until then, I'll keep dreaming and enjoy my beloved Fort Wayne, Indiana, that is now my home. I'll keep pursuing this career I'm blessed with, church, 
the skincare business, and this style channel. This is more than enough for me. I pray I approach each day as an opportunity to make dreams come true for God's kingdom. Sometimes I have a hard time knowing what his will is versus mine. Anyway, what are your dreams? Are you pursuing them? Have you prayed about them? What if we pursued them together? Me, my future husband, Lord willing, he knows I'm not good at dating, and eight children will gladly welcome you to Le Chapelle Café. Subscribe, my darling. S'il vous plaît.